astros on the Hello ladies and gentlemen subscribe Astro Sunder and press the bell icon. Today we are going to see Part of Fortune Calculations of the lot or part of fortune is based on the position of the sun, the moon and the ascendant. It is considered that these three energies are quite important for men and they exert such a quiet great influence over one's personality. The sun symbolizes its identity and its conscious objectives, the moon represents the emotional side, as well as the subconscious and slash or unconscious parts, while the ascendant, with a visible personality, expresses in some way the sun and the moon as personality factors. The relationship between these three elements is called pars fortuny, part of fortune. This sensible point shows the place in the astrological portrait, where the sun, the moon and the ascendant can meet in the most congruent way. Hence, it shows the sphere of life in which we better can achieve true happiness, the sign tells us why and the corresponding house tells us where, it shows the place where our hidden treasure is, our future. Part of Fortune in Sagittarius If you have part of fortune in Sagittarius in your birth chart, you need freedom to explore and avoid stifling situations, so that you may experience a joy without limits. Your fulfillment will take place in faraway places, whether mentally or in other countries. Whatever you experience will become broader and more meaningful. In addition, you are lucky by nature wherever you go. You like to try new things that expand awareness and knowledge of life as a whole. Gemini is the sign opposite to your part of fortune in Sagittarius. Through Gemini, you know the indecision of people and their superficiality in trying to please themselves and not committing to something meaningful. You feel an enormous curiosity for all things and people. Although you are very comfortable in the midst of nature and a natural environment, since you understand the truth of the natural laws of human beings and the universe. You are aware that, sometimes, when trying to gain the acceptance of others, you are untrue with yourself. So, you must be frank and direct, since you realize the apparent dualities of any situation, being able to obtain the essential meaning of each moment and observe the unity of all situations. You have to stay free to express yourself spontaneously and with full sincerity and honesty with yourself. This helps you take a decided and correct action. You can maintain an energy of enthusiasm and optimism even when facing very difficult conflicts. You encourage and inspire all the people with whom you work or have contact. You have a powerful prophetic vision to project yourself into the future, and many times your willpower and clarity of vision make that future come true. You feel well any place you go. In any place, you feel at home. You know how to flow with enthusiasm in all situations, without letting yourself be involved in something that could deny your own optimism. You radiate happiness. Although, sometimes you do not realize it, and you make the mistake of trying to look for it in others. You must avoid judging yourself too harshly. Do not compare yourself with others. Nor should you think that you can make others happy, because you would lose your own sense of inner joy. You should know that this cannot be transferred from one person to another. You will do better through constant spontaneity, simply by being and experiencing the total truth of each moment in your life and each situation. You will feel happy, bringing more sense and meaning to all the circumstances and people around you and raising their spiritual awareness. By not taking it personally, you are left free to change to another situation that is asking for your attention at that moment. Undoubtedly, your joy is present in all your significant contacts. These contacts give more meaning and understanding to your life. 